Today we're looking at this Seek Thermal Camera. It's basically an attachment to your phone. The version I have is micro USB for Android phones. It comes in this waterproof case. I have no idea why it's waterproof, but it is waterproof, very rugged. Because this is micro USB, I use it for my old phones, disposable phones, really. But you can get a USB C adapter. That way, you can use it with more modern phones, such as uh, my Note 9. Well, this one is an old phone, disposable as well, but you know, whatever. Here are some size comparison for you. Nerf ball, 9 volt battery, Lego Man, AAA battery. Yeah, it's tiny. You can basically put it in your pocket and go on to the job site. Using it is very easy. All you have to do is download the app. The app is called Seek Thermal. Connect your camera. So once you download the app, go ahead and open it. So on the uh, scale, you can see that the coldest in the room is 71 degree, 70 degree, while the hottest is about 86 degrees. We're looking at the uh, window right now, and there's the radiator. It's one of those old school iron cast radiator thing. The blue part we're looking out right now is the window. You can see that there's a lot of uh, you can see that there's a lot of leaks coming in. This is a very old house. You can take photos, or you can always record. On the website, it's kind of misleading. They're saying that it's a high definition and you would think that you're getting 1080p at least. But as you can see from my video samples, it is definitely not 1080p. Let's hit the record button so you can see the uh, screen resolution. Sorry, I don't have a stabilizer with me at the moment. So that's why the screen is a little bit shaky. There's not a lot of controls. Clicking on home will let you go back to the home screen. That's to view your gallery. Clicking on the uh, target icon will give you a bunch of options, the different kind of modes that you want to view. So right now it's a uh, split screen. This is the kids storage room. So you can see that it's very, very messy. That's the uh, radiator. Next up, the target tool. You can pinpoint the area that you want to see and it will tell you how hot that area is. Next up is the triangle tool and it will tell you where the hottest area is and where the coolest area is. The cards icon will let you see different types of graphs. Personally, I like this the best. Spectra. 
If you click on the settings, it will give you a bunch of uh, preferences and as well as instruction manuals. Honestly, I didn't read the instructions manual, but here it is if you want to. Right now it's winter time, so you can see how very useful this can be to find out leaks, to find where leaks are in your house. We're looking at another old window. Besides troubleshooting the windows and doors for your house, um, I was looking around the house, I was looking around the walls, and interestingly enough, this is one of the things that I found. Water leaks. Yikes. Here's a uh, normal picture versus a thermal camera picture. You can clearly see that for some reason, water is seeping into this area, this wall, and upon closer inspection, you can see that there's micro fractures along the wall. So I know that water somehow is seeping in. It's way too cold, I'm too lazy to do anything about it, but I'll wait for things to cool down, to uh, warm down, and then I'll take care of this water leak. We use this for installing security cameras, and this is the closest thing you'll ever get to x-ray vision. And so x-ray vision is legal, I don't know, then that's even better than this. But for now, thermal camera is the next best thing. All right, hopefully you found this review of this thermal camera helpful. Please let me know what you use it for in your daily life or work. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.